Everybody that's thinking about moving to the next level and buying some of the new Ryzen processors needs to watch this video and be aware that the stuff that we're seeing on paper, the things that they're telling us in a lot of the big time videos, is just simply not accurate at this moment. And here's what I mean. At this moment behind me, I've just upgraded to the 5950X, which compared to my 2700X is miles ahead. It's the new 5000 series, it's the new Zen 3 technology, it's miles ahead of my old processor. Naturally, I had to upgrade my motherboard, I had to throw a power supply in there, I've also got a new cooler, everything is better. So naturally, I wanted my workflow to experience a much higher caliber of performance. And it's just really not the case. I've done my own tests of course before and after and I wanted to show you guys what I'm finding here. And again, if you have answers to any of this stuff, please let me know. But I've been in touch with obviously the computer company that has put my stuff together as well as Adobe in this case, because we got to figure out what's going on here. Of course, at $799, you expect it to perform a lot better than something like the 2700X, right? Well, Unfortunately, at this point, it does not. In fact, in Premiere Pro, it's only utilizing when rendering about 8% of my CPU with the 5950X. I did some tests in rendering and playback, as well as some benchmark scores, which I'll show you. The playback overall is better. I will say that it's a bit more efficient. It's by no means out of this world. As far as 4K footage and playing back from an HD at full resolution, it's gonna be hit or miss. You're still gonna have some choppiness, whereas for my 2700X, I usually get away with about quarter quality. So there is a little bit of an improvement there. But overall, Premiere Pro and Adobe products are definitely not utilizing all the cores or what this thing is truly capable of. And I'll show you what I mean. I did a rendering test with my 2700X right before I put all my new stuff in. It's the exact same, pretty intensive 4K file, all settings exactly the same, and it spit it out in a time of 12 minutes and 21 seconds. So my next stop was the computer shop where I paid the rush fee to have everything done on the same day. Naturally excited to get this thing home, opened up the same 4K file in Premiere, hit that export button and was incredibly surprised with a render time, exact same settings with a time of 12 minutes and 28 seconds. Huh? Yes, my 799 US dollar processor is seven seconds slower than my 2700X. This is a bit of a head scratcher. So I started messing with some settings. I actually even turned hardware encoding off and tried it with software. To my surprise, it was actually faster, obviously utilizing more of my CPU, and it did it in a time of 11 minutes and 36 seconds. Is it astronomically better than a two-year-old, far inferior processor? Absolutely not. Something's horribly off here. So I reached out to the computer shop, which told me they didn't really deal with software and it wasn't a hardware issue. Next, I did a few benchmark tests to see exactly what this thing was all about. Ran some strenuous tests to confirm that yes, on paper, this processor is in fact better. Big surprise. So naturally I reached out to Adobe next to ask why Premiere was utilizing about seven to 10% of my processor. And they did confirm that by no means are their products actually able to comprehend all of these cores or take advantage of pretty much anything to do with this chipset at this point. So for all of you guys that are thinking that you're gonna run out and have this huge upgrade and your workflow is gonna be magnificent, it's just not true and it's so incredibly disappointing. I feel like we've been misled by a lot of people. They're reading the stats off paper and it's just not the case. This is real world stuff. And although I've, across the board, of course it is faster, for the stuff that matters, it's just really not what it needs to be right now. So as it stands, Adobe is reaching out on priority to get in touch with me early next week because well, now it's the weekend, of course. So I will make a follow-up video showing you exactly what there is, if there's any workarounds. But at this point, guys, you're probably on back order anyways, but there's really no need to go and jump out and upgrade to this stuff because nobody's actually prepared for it, it looks like. And that, again, is just really disappointing to me. So guys, if you have a workaround, if you found this similarly, if you have the same experience, drop all your stuff down in the comments. I wanna hear your experience as well. And of course I will make some follow-up videos showing you my experience with this processor, with this new build and everything that I do. 
Guys, if you like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, join the community, and like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and go create. See you next time.